A high-powered Chinese delegation led by former Chinese Foreign Minister and current Communist Party Politburo member Yang Jiqi arrived in Colombo last night. The delegation met with President Gotabe Rajapaksa at the Presidential Secretariat today. The visit is the first overseas visit by top Chinese officials to South Asia since the COVID-19 pandemic outbreak. During the meeting, the delegation lead Yang Jiqi assured the President of China's continued support to the success of Sri Lanka's development efforts. He also reaffirmed China's firm stance on the upholding Sri Lanka's independence, sovereignty and territorial integrity at international platforms, including the United Nations Human Rights Council. The president in turn told the delegation that he is committed to introducing the same high levels of development in Sri Lanka's rural communities that China has implemented successfully in their own. The president added that he also looks forward to seeing visible progress in the Port City project in the next four years. Pointing out that a massive gulf exists in Sri Lanka's trade balance with China, the president called for an increase in goods purchased from Sri Lanka and for greater access to the Chinese market for private sector goods and services. The president also stated that Chinese participation in Sri Lanka's tea auction would provide a massive boost to the country's economic stability. The president also called for Chinese investment into the establishment of a technical university for Sri Lankan advanced level students as higher education opportunities in this sphere are currently limited. The head of the Chinese delegation also stated that China was ready to help to achieve the development goals set out in the president's Vistas of Prosperity policy statement. The Chinese delegation said that it was planning to resume talks on the Sri Lanka-China Free Trade Agreement and complete the Hambantaro Industrial Estate project soon. Ji Chi added that he hopes that President Rajapaksa will embark on an official visit to China once the COVID-19 battle is concluded. Meanwhile, the Chinese delegation also met with Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa at Temple Trees today. During the meeting, the Prime Minister expressed his gratitude for the Chinese government's assistance in controlling the COVID-19 pandemic in Sri Lanka. The delegation said that the Chinese government has always taken steps to encourage Chinese companies to invest in Sri Lanka and added that steps have been taken to increase imports of Sri Lankan products. Following the conclusion of talks with the President and the Prime Minister, the Chinese delegation left the island this afternoon. Leave Ayush, Karabu Neti Dantale Paya, Shakti Mat Dati Palakata.